Hey guys, welcome back my cookie crumbs to yet another episode. I am sitting in the parking lot of my doctor's office if you're wondering what those noises are. <laughs> yeah, I like work. I got here just a bit too early. I can never gauge time or whatever. But anyways, that's good for you because I get to record multiple episodes. So I have uh, numerous episodes for days. <laughs> but let's get started, shall we? Talk. Sure. Let's uh uh uh. Deactivate your quirk. What? Deactivate your quirk or Shota will do it for you. Shota. Aisawa? Eraserhead. Hm. <laughs> so you do remember me. Do as my husband says. Erase your quirk. Fine. Nasty scar you got there. Dobby snarked, looking at this big old scar on Endeavor's face. What villain did that to you, or did you do that to yourself? Toya, look. No, you look. All those people you killed. Even Mom. I heard that when she got out of the hospital, you murdered her. And Fuyumi... And Natsu, they're in foster care with God knows where they are. They're not even in the country anymore. I heard that Fuyumi, she's in America. And Natsu, I heard he's in Germany. And there's no way to get them back because they've, they've been adopted. No, look, I just, and you, you were about to take Shoto. And you were about to abuse him like you did me. Abuse? No, Toya, please. You must understand. It wasn't abuse. It was, what, training? For what? To, to better, nah. Not to better me, but to better you. You and your stupid little thing with All Might. What? Toya, no. That's, yes, it is. You've always wanted to be better than All Might. You keep preaching and going on and on about how Shoto is going to be your masterpiece. And how Toya would have been your masterpiece. If he hadn't died. Well, guess what, Dad? I'm not dead. And I know about fire quirks. I know how destructive they are. Look at me. I'm 95% scarred. And look at my hair. Dead. Singed. You can't imagine the pain I've been through. Toya, please, just come home. I bring Shoto with you. I can be, what, better? Yeah, freaking right. I'm raising Shoto, and you know what? I'm doing so much better than you. Shoto is happy. He's a happy, bubbling two-year-old, like he should be, like I should have been. Toya, I made a grave error, and grave error. Right. Were those people you killed, along with Mom, a grave error? Or are they just simply collateral? No, Toya, listen, you must. I just told you about fire quirks and how destructive they are. But you don't care. All you care is about being better than a retired hero who's close to his own deathbed. Toya, please. <sniffs> Erase her head. Yes, Dobby? Can I kill him now? Not until after we've had our discussion. Fine. I guess I'll just have to... Look at the pretty birdie here. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Hawks laughed nervously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll keep my eye on this, uh, hand. No, not, not, hands. Say it. Say it, pretty birdie. Come on, say it. Who's a good pretty birdie? This handsome man. Ah, uh, you... 
Oh, you, you silly little bird that I know. Look at me. I am just drop dead gorgeous. I'm a hunk. Look at me. All right, Dobby, that's enough. (laughs) Fine, fine. I'm not a narcissist like some people. I told you, my name is not Toya. And for what we want to discuss, you not only murdered innocent people and had the hero commission, now hero D commission, cover it up. Even the murder of all those corkless kids in that raid and Loud Cloud, our dear friend, Loud Cloud, that hero that ran back into the warehouse. I saw him. And you didn't convince him to come back out. You left him there to die, didn't you? No, listen. Part of the ceiling collapsed. He got caught. I did try to save him, but he was pinned and there was no time. You're fire resistant. You could have helped him. You could have helped him escape. I couldn't. There was really no... Enough. Just admit your wrongdoings. Fine. I admit it. I killed all those people. And I'm not sorry for it. I'm not sorry for your mother. I'm not sorry for Loud Cloud. I'm not sorry for any of it. Oh, we know you're not sorry. And you're going to pay for what you've done. Hawks, Shoda said calmly, letting his husband take a deep breath. Yes, sir. Is there a battleground? Or a cork-resistant gym here? Oh, yes, we have several. Um, as far as the battleground goes, that might be the best place, as it's the most cork-resistant. Excellent. Take us there. As you wish. Where are we going? Battleground B. It's one of the most quark resistance battlegrounds. Not only that, it's kind of like a fake city. Excellent. We are going to go to this battleground, and we are going to finish this once and for all. There was a silence that loomed over them as they walked. They walked to the battlegrounds, where in Denver had sealed his fate. Toya? No, I'm sorry. Dobby. Dobby. He's your father. It's your call. What do you want to do? He's going to pay for what he's done. Obviously. And I'm going to be the one to distribute the retribution. Go for it. Endeavor, you get a head start. You get five minutes. And then Toya? Oh, yes. Finally, old man. You're going to get it. You're going to finally get what you deserve. No, please, sorry, but once the door is locked, you're locked in. See that thing above us? That scoreboard looking thing? That's a timer. We're going to be in here for quite some time or until the simulation ends. Sorry, bud, but you're stuck. No, Hawks, surely you can over. Nope, can't override. Like I said, you're stuck. May as well. Five minutes in Denver. Well, four minutes now. All right, all right. And Denver took off like a shot into the big old cityscape. Rather, the fake cityscape. Dobby? Hmm? You know that villains don't play fair. Go for it. 
with pleasure. Dobby smirked. And Dobby took off. If he doesn't get to play fair, do I get to... Do I have to? Has in Denver wronged you in some way? He took me from my dad. He got my father arrested. I haven't seen my dad in years. Do you know where your dad is? Unfortunately, no. I don't. I don't know if he's still in prison or what. Was your dad a criminal? My dad did some bad stuff, but... You know, I... My mom died and, you know, things just kind of went to hell. Yeah. You poor thing. It's okay. And Denver saw quote-unquote potential and tossed me to the wolves. I've been here ever since. Day in and day out, it's nothing but training and surviving. That's no life, Hawks. Kago. My name is Kago. Kago Takami. Well, Kago, you'll be coming with us then. Really? Of course, we could show you what a real family looks like. And you'll be welcomed in our kingdom. Kingdom? An explanation later, but if you'd like to go play with Dobby, go for it. All right then, off I go, Hawk said. He's going to pay for taking me away from my family, away from my dad. And dad, one day I'll find you and we'll be a family again, Hawks promised. He soared into the f fake city and the game was on. Oh boy, in Denver. Sounds like he's not going to survive. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. But now I gotta go. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Do good, be good, be safe. I love you all. Bye-bye.